Hi everyone, this is Emily Leapart here for Tailored Expressions, and in today's video I'm sharing two trifold cards using products from the new Mini Slim Essentials 2 release. Tailored Expressions first released Mini Slim Essentials a year ago, and the Mini Slim card size has really taken off. Trifold cards are a fun way to surprise the recipient, and they're easier than the traditional interactive cards. Let's take a look at the new products I'll be using in this video. The first one is the Tutti Frutti stamp set. It has the cutest fruits with punny sentiments that work with multiple fruit. My favorites are the animated fruit holding other objects. Of course, there are the coordinating dies. Next, we have the Mini Slim Wonky Dot stencil, which reminds me of watermelon seeds. It can be used as confetti and looks adorable when stenciled. I'll also be using a couple of previously released products, including the Mini Slim Square Trifold Template and Dies with Mini Slim Trifold Cards in Sugar Cube. These cards also come in toffee, but you can always cut your own from any colored cardstock. The first thing I'm going to do is stamp all six of the images on a sheet of sugar cube cardstock using Oreo ink. I double stamp it in my Mini Misty stamping tool to make sure the lines are crisp and dark. Then I color them in with Copic markers, and you can find all these colors listed in the supply links below. I'm going to speed up my coloring process 20 times and put on some music. The Mini Slim Trifold Cards in Sugar Cube come pre-scored at the 3.5 inch mark and the 7 inch mark, but I'm going to score them again on both sides in my mini scoreboard just to make the lines more definitive. This makes it easier to fold and keeps the lines more crisp and beautiful, especially when done with a bone folder. When I fold the flaps, I fold one side, open it, and fold the other. This is because chances are that it'll be a tight fit and you'll have to trim off 1 16th of an inch from one of those flaps so that the top flap will close completely flat. After I trim off that little sliver from the inside flap, here's how the Mini Slim Square Trifold Template and Dies will work with the Trifold card base. When used together, the large stencil and large square die are to be used on the front flap and the small stencil and small square die should be used with the second flap. You can, of course, just use one or the other on the front flap and leave the second flap solid. It's nice to have the ability to make these interactive window elements without the complication of moving parts. I'm going to use the stencil as a guide to center the dies and run them through my die cutting machine. You can see the stitching detail of the die along the opening of the window. I love the way it looks. Then I repeat the process on the inside window. When you place this window and close the already die cut front flap, you can make any adjustments in case the centering is off on the inside flap. Once the windows are die cut, it's time to stamp the sentiments and decorate the card. I'm going to pair up the orange and the lemon and have the orange saying to the lemon, When life gives you lemons, I'm here for you. Then when you open it, the lemon has a drink, which makes the sentiment squeeze the day, perfect for this flap. This card base fits inside the original Misty when one of the flaps is closed, so that makes it easy to align your stamping. If you don't have a Misty, then you can use an acrylic block, which is what I do to stamp the third and final sentiment since I wasn't willing to bend these flaps backwards. On the very inside where you would address the recipient, I'm going to stencil a background that shows through both of the open windows. I place a large square stencil down first, then tape the mini slim wonky dot stencil on top. I use Sprinkles ink with a coordinating pastel blender brush and ink up the masked square. I remove the wonky dot stencil and leave the square stencil in place. Then I add lime zest ink to add a glow around the edges. Now I can attach the Copic colored images from Tutti Frutti. Even though this cardstock is 100 pounds, adding all those layers of alcohol ink can seep through to the back and I don't like the way it looks on the back side, so I die cut an additional layer and I'll use those to sandwich the window. 
This way, when the card opens, you'll see a really clean, solid white background. Plus, the sandwich and liquid adhesive really helps to secure the image on the window, especially since only small parts of the image are attached to the edge of the window. I stacked two acrylic blocks on top of the glued image while I worked on the second image. You don't have to do this, but it gave me more confidence that the glue would dry completely flat and all three layers would stay together. On the inside of the card, I used an acrylic block to stamp a sentiment from Max and Millie that reads, Keep pushing on, you got this. And it nicely fits with the two other encouragement themed sentiments. I left that part out because my head blocked the screen when I leaned forward to make sure that it was straight. I wanted to add a frame around the inside window to make it pop. I'm using both the square dies and cutting a frame from Sprinkles cardstock. Since this is an afterthought, that frame would cover up the lemon's stem, leaf, and arm, so I'm going to hold the frame in place, then lock the lemon's coordinating die on top, and die cut the lemon from the frame. That way, the remaining frame wraps nicely around the lemon shape. Ideally, I would have done this first so the lemon die impression doesn't show up on the frame, but this works well enough as an alternative. Now the finished card is not quite so plain. I also decided to add some diamond stickles to the stenciled dots to give it some sparkle. I'll set that aside to dry while I assemble the second card. Again, I used the stencils to cut the windows, and now I'm going to use the striped square stencil to ink blend a pattern on the inside. Once again, I'm using the large square stencil on the bottom and the striped square stencil on top. I used potato chip ink with a coordinating blender brush, and I really love this bright color with this particular pattern. It's a nice contrast with the watermelon and strawberry. Now it's time to stamp the sentiments which read, You're one in a melon on the outside and have a very special day on the inside. This time I remembered to create the frame before I glue on the fruit, but I came very close to forgetting again. At least now I know that it can be added after the fact. This time I used silver glitter cardstock which complements the yellow background and bright fruit. Once that is in place, I add the strawberry and watermelon in the same fashion as on the first card. When the images are secure, I add some star sequins from my stash to embellish the background. Here's a look at my two finished cards. I don't ever recall having made trifold cards before, but I love the way these turned out and I'm already imagining quite a few snarky ones. These windows are so much fun, and the new mini slim release has new window dies that you're going to love. I had a lot of fun mixing things up with these mini slim trifold cards and can't wait to see what you come up with. You can find all these products in the Tailored Expressions web store at tailoredexpressions.com. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you again soon.